If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Hello and welcome back to Spirit Guides. I'm Kelly Sparta, your host. I'm a transformational shaman. I've been doing this work for 50 years. And my co-host is here with me, Jeff Radwan, who is one of my students and uh, one of the instructors of my program as well. So super excited to have you guys back. We are going to do something new and different today. This is Friday. This is the Ascend Day. And so let me tell you a little bit about what the Ascend Day is going to look like. Ascend is going to be a day in which we do something on the energetic. So either a reading or a healing or an energy review or a, we might do a shamanic journey. We might do something interesting energetically. Okay. And uh, so sound healings are coming up. There's lots of good stuff coming up, but today we're actually going to cast a circle around everyone who will ever listen to this podcast. Now, So let me just tell you that this is going to be something that you can use for yourself. So oftentimes we don't have any way to create sacred safe space for ourselves. And and while you're learning how to do these things, I want you to be safe. And so today I am going to give you an episode that will actually cast a circle for you and then close the circle for you. So let me just say this. Do not cast a circle and not close it. I don't care how good the energy feels while you're in there. Things go really funky and awry in ways that you do not want if you try to live in what is meant to be a temporary circle, okay? You can learn how to do this on a more permanent basis in forms of wards, W-A-R-D-S. So if you want to search that, you can find that online. But for this purpose, for the one that we're going to do today, this is a temporary circle. It is designed to be put up and taken down within an hour or two. Okay, so don't don't use it for longer than that. And please, please, please play the end so it closes. Okay. All right. So so what we're going to do, I want to talk first a little bit about what sacred space is and why we would use it. Right. So sacred space is about setting a container for yourself that is protected from everything that is not there for your highest and best good in order to do any sort of energetic working or in order to spend any time with yourself and be able to be certain that the person you're talking to is your guide and not somebody else, right? If you're doing communication with the other side. And so this is one of the reasons why you would do that kind of circle. And what is it? So It is literally creating an energetic barrier between you and the outside world and only allowing specific energies in and eliminating all the others. Okay. That's really what it is. That's, that's the, at the simplest form, what any circle cast is and circle casts can take a lot of different formats, right? So you can do something very simple. You can do something very complex. You can do something in between. I'm going to do a rather simple one. The thing that I want you to know is that I am I am going to be facing the screen while I do this so that my mic is in front of me the whole time and you can hear me and see me. But typically you would face in each of the directions as you call in the different directions to do this work. I'm just going to trust that the directions know that I'm doing this for this purpose and it'll be okay. <clears throat> so... Josh, anything you want to say before we get started? I just want to reiterate and uh, plant that seed of the importance of closing the circle because of how many times I've called Kelly, uh, not as much recently because, uh, you know, she's really kind of, you know, implanted that seed in me a- as well. <laughs> you know, I've, I've opened circles uh, and then four days later, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm so drained. I'm like on the floor. It's been three days. She's like, what have you been doing? I was like, well, I was doing this. And, well, did you close the circle? I was like, oh, and then, whoop, you know, close the circle and then everything is back to normal. So once again, the, <laughs> the importance of closing these circles is uh, is something to really take very serious here. 
yeah, Kathy and I, so my friend Kathy and I were running a program and we we came down, it was on the fourth floor and we had finished up the program and everything had been cleaned up and we'd been working on this for a whole weekend and we didn't remember because everybody was chatting with us at the end and whatever, we didn't remember to close the circle and we had packed everything out and we came down the stairs and we had a block to walk to the restaurant that we were going to. And the entire time, Kathy is sitting there going, oh my God, how far is this? You said it was close. And I'm like, I know it is close. It's only a block, but oh my God, I'm so tired. Ah, this is so hard. And we're walking and walking and walking. It's getting harder and harder the further we get. And then we sit down at the table and I looked at her and I was like, we forgot to close the circle. And she's like, oh my God. <laughs> close the circle from, from our restaurant. And, and wow, we felt so much better, right? And in fact, the walk, the block walk back to get to the car was no problem at all, right? Like a magic carpet <laughs> ride. Being rubber banded back to our circle, right? And so that's why it was so hard the first time. So, yeah, so... These are these are things that happen when you don't close your circles. So please, please, please close your circles. All right. So a circle is at its at its core a calling in of the four elements, uh, which is earth, air, fire, water, and a calling in of the four directions. And the one thing I want to say is that if you're going to face in the directions, make sure that when you finish facing in the direction, so you start in the north. And then you work your way around. And the last thing I'm going to say is the West, but then you've got to keep turning to close the circle to the North. So you want to keep turning so that you make the, the full circle complete. And your circle is going to go above your head and below your feet. It's, it's called a circle, but it's actually a sphere, right? So when you're visualizing it, make sure you're visualizing an entire sphere. And the thing I'm going to tell you is if you're driving right now, don't listen to this episode. <laughs> there are going to be some episodes, mostly the Ascend episodes, where I'm going to tell you, don't listen to this while you're driving because they they may take you out of your real space and it could be unsafe to drive a car. So don't be driving a car while you're listening to this one. So put this one on pause and go to the next one if that's where you are right now. But definitely come back because it's going to be freaking awesome. Okay. All right. So I actually was going to do this one by myself. And uh, Josh had heard the story of the first time I did this for somebody for a, a big podcast and, and all the air got sucked out of the room and my co-host was like unable to speak <laughs> because there was so much energy in the room. And he's like, I want to be here, right? And I'm I like, treat well, we're not my, be in the same room. <laughs> I treat my life as you one are? giant social experiment. And if I'm going to speak to the <laughs> truth of it, then I better right be there in the middle of it. So... I uh, I, you I appreciate you allowing me to be a part of this today. Well, you know, you're not going to be in the same physical room, so hopefully it won't be as intense, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I don't know. Let Let's find out. Everybody's, room, everybody's energy in the room, right? Okay. So I want to just describe to you what's going to happen before we do this. And that's going to be that I'm going to call on the elements. I'm going to call on the directions and I'm going to call on power animals spirit animals that relate to those elements. I'm going to use this as a general circle cast. Uh, when you, if you do this for yourself, you're going to want to do it in a way that is indicative of what if whatever the working is that you're doing, right? So I'm doing a general one. I'm not calling in specific things. You could call in your ancestors. You could call in your guides, you could call in uh, specific entities or angels to help you with whatever it is that you're doing in the moment. Uh, I'm not going to do that here because I want this to be general and to work for everybody. But I will call in the, the those entities that are here for the highest and best good of all involved and make sure that that's present. And then we'll give. And so that's the opening. And then at the end, I'm going to close the circle with a. Here's how, you know, with a thank you to everyone that we called, a thank you to all the elements and the guides and the, the directions, and then releasing the circle, okay? Because you always give thanks to those that you ask for help, right? It's only polite. All right. So what's going to happen if you're going to use this for yourself and your own purposes is I'm going to record this. I'm going to hold it open for... Mm, 
a minute maybe, and then I will close it. So what if you're going to use this for yourself, what you want to do is you want to open it, hit pause, do whatever work you need to do within the space, and then hit play again to close the circle. Okay. Now, if you decide that you want to take what I'm giving you here and use it yourself and start to learn the words and do it for yourself, what you need to understand, because I've seen this so many times and I find it so, so very frustrating because people feel they, they think they're opening a circle by saying the words. They've watched somebody do this and they've said the words and they're like, okay, now it's open. And I, I went to a, a ceremony the other day and that's exactly what she did. She said all the right words but none of the energy happened, right? And it's because she learned how to say the words, but she didn't learn how to hold the energy, okay? And so what I want you to recognize is that the words are somewhat relevant. The energy is more relevant. I can actually, because I've cast circles so many times in my life, I can actually do what's known as a pop-up circle. If I decided to set a circle right now, I could do it like bang, done, no words necessary, just boom. So the words are not uh, the the words are not the magic. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The words are a conduit for your intention. The intention is the magic. And we're, you're going to hear this from me ad nauseum in this podcast. Okay. <laughs> I am going to say this to you so many times. You're going to be like, what? And it's like, what, what, is, what is magic? Magic is intention. That is all magic is. It is intention. How do we do magic? We intend it. How do we do anything we want to do in the energetic world? We intend to. That is the core bottom line of everything. If you learn nothing else from me, that will be the single most important thing you learn. Okay. <laughs> because with that, you can do absolutely anything you ever want to do. But, you know, unwinding the beliefs that's true, that's a more complicated process, right? Un unwinding the beliefs that that could be true, right? Because for most of us, we're like, oh, but reality, oh, but me, oh, but, you know, and it's like, no, 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 that's just the basis. Um, okay, so if you decide to do this on your own, remember to intend to open the circle. Don't just remember the words and say them, okay? Yes, memorize the words, but when you say them, you need to say them with the intention of opening the circle and be like, I am opening this circle. I am calling these things in. I am setting these boundaries. I am setting this intention for the space. I am calling these people into the, into the circle. You know, I am closing this circle. I am feeling the gratitude and the, the thank you. I am closing it completely and letting it go, right? You need to be in that energy if you're going to do this on your own. Okay. Don't just learn the words and the, and, you know, turning around, right? Don't just learn that. That is not casting a circle. That is ritual theater, right? That is not actual magic. Okay. So, and you'll feel it. If you, if you're an empath, you're, you're going to likely feel this. Um, so that's why I'm saying don't do this if you're driving a car. Okay. Here we go. We've had enough precursor. Mm. All right. So take a minute, get yourself centered. And I'm going to encourage you if you're going to take notes, please experience it first and then come back and listen and take notes later. Okay. All right. Snappy. I call to the north to bear, to that which lies deep within, to the earth, to that which we stand upon and which provides us with foundation, to the rocks and the rock people. Come, come, be with us now. Bring us your wisdom. Bring us your knowledge. Bring us the part of ourselves that connects with the earth. I call to the east to hawk and condor, to that which brings us messages and wisdom, to the air which we breathe that brings us life in our bodies. Come, come, be with us now. Bring us your wisdom. 
I call to the south, to salamander and snake, to the fire of transformation. Come, come, be with us now. Bring to us your transformation. Bring to us the, the letting go of that which is no longer needed. Come, be with us now. Bring us your wisdom. I call to the west, to water, to dolphin and whale, to the depths of emotion. Come, be with us now. Bring us your wisdom. I call to Father Sky. Come, bring us the wisdom of the universe. Connect us to our guides and our ancestors. Connect us to all that is. Come, come, be with us now. Bring us your wisdom. I call to Pachamama, Mother Earth, that on which we stand, the foundation of our physical existence, the, the beingness state of being in physical reality that, that provides us with food and clothing and shelter. Come, come, be with us now. Bring us your wisdom. And I call to the ancestors and guides and guardians and angels, all those who would be present for this working this day for our highest and best good. Come, come be with us now. The circle is cast. You may now add into the circle anything that you want to put as an intention on this circle. And when you're done with that, go ahead and hit pause until you're ready to close. We give thanks to our ancestors, our guides, and all those who were present this day for this working Go if you will, stay if you must, but know if you go, you go with our love and our appreciation and our gratitude. We give thanks to Pachamama, Mother Earth, for providing us with a solid place to stand during our working. Stay if you will, go if you must, but know if you go, you go with our love and gratitude. We give thanks to Father Sky for providing us with the wisdom needed from the universe. Stay if you will, go if you must, but know that you you go with our love and gratitude. We give thanks to the north, to bear, to the earth. Yeah. Stay if you will, go if you must, but know if you go, you go with our love and gratitude. We give thanks to the West, to Dolphin, to Whale. Thank you for your wisdom and your emotional support. Stay if you will, go if you must. But no, if you go, you go with our love and gratitude. We give thanks to the South, to, to Snake, to Salamander, Thank you for your fire. Thank you for your transformation. Stay if you will, go if you must, but no, if you go, you go with our love and gratitude. We give thanks to East, to Air, to Hawk and Condor. Thank you. Thank you for your movement, for your wisdom. Stay if you will, go if you must, but no, if you go, you go with our love and gratitude. The circle is expanded but never broken, and so it is. <sighs> Okay, and that is the end of our Circle Cast episode. Thank you for listening. Feel free to use this anytime you need to. Uh, and we will see you next time. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh, I'm